Hi, this is Jason Aker with Gas Monkey Garage, and on this episode of Autofocus, we're going to talk about our 62 Galaxy 500. Let's get into it. So when Richard bought this car, I really liked it right off. It ran and drove, it's a classy 60s big convertible. But one thing I wanted to know is what size motor we had inside it. So once we got the car, got looking at it, a 390 equipped, which was not available in 62, so somebody had added this later, which is great for us because a big block is the preferred engine on any car we build, especially a 60s era car like this. So we took the factory 390 out, we rebuilt all the internals, we painted it a unique color to kind of go with our color scheme on the outside of the car, and then we went pretty much factory everywhere else minus the brakes. Willwood came in really handy there. Again, Willwood does a great job for us. They fit everything we tried to build, so a 62 Galaxy was right up their alley. They got us everything we needed to equip the brakes with the new master cylinder and everything to stop this 390 running down the road. Factory motor, we've repainted everything, gone factory pretty much everywhere minus the brakes, that was pretty much finished up our engine bay. So not only does it run great, but it drives great. Starting with our Budnick crown wheels. Uh, we have 18 by eights on the front, 18 by tens on the rear. That equipped with the Ride Tech suspension and coilovers give this thing an awesome feel when you're rolling down the road. So not only do you have the 390 power, now you've got something that cruises along. So Budnick hooked us up with the, uh, the wheels and tires. We have Ride Tech on the suspension. We got wheel wood on the brakes. I mean, how's it getting better than that? Not only is it important to have a good running car, and a car that uh, can handle it down the road, but you gotta look good while you're doing it. You know, and Richard always cares about looking good, especially his hair, which is strange because we've got an open top convertible, but we'll get into that later. Uh, the main thing we wanted to focus on here with the look was we wanted to keep the original dash, original steering wheel, the original look of the car on the exterior, just upgrade the uh, drivability of the car so you could enjoy it more. In the dash area, you know, we've got a rebuilt original radio, all, all knobs. We finished all the panels ourselves. We repainted our dash. We pulled everything out of this car, completely gutted it, as you've seen. And Mike painted and did all he needed to do. And then we went back with everything factory harness, redid all the seats, you know, because they're really comfortable now. So maybe Richard will actually let me get to drive it, even though he didn't want to do any of this. He just wanted a garage flip two-week project. I probably pushed him about as far as you can get away with pushing a guy, uh, but I think all in all, he wanted to get the most money out of this car, and now the car lives up to what we told him it would be, so I'm very good with that, and I've still got a job, and I still get a paycheck, so that's always a bonus when you're building a car, is to get done and still have a job afterwards, you know. All joking aside, Richard just wants to get things done, but this, my reputation and the guy's reputation in the shop is we got to do it right, and I feel like we killed it on this car. You know, you've got original door panels, you've got the seats recovered, everything redone in the car. It's practically a brand new car and it's really enjoyable to drive and we've taken it to lunch a couple of times so I know this for, for fact. Uh, on top of that, there's more back here. Not only did we want to put the convertible top, replace that obviously, we went with a uh, custom Mercedes cloth material to give it an upgrade in that respect. And Richard really is picky about convertible tops. If we're gonna put one on, we're gonna do it right. And a car this big and this classy, that's a large top, so we wanted to make sure it's right. So my buddy Mike Ballard came down here and personally sewed this top on the car while it was here. Really helped us out because with our schedule, we don't really have time to take the cars anywhere. So people generally come and do what they can do to help us speed this thing up. And you know, with the pressure I was under during the build, Richard yelling about every time I saw him, we had to get it wrapped up. 
On top of that, we decided on the styling of the car. Even though Richard didn't like the stripe idea at all, which you all know, uh, he might have been right. It looks really nice, all clean, one color. And by deleting all the mid trim on the car and the lower trim, we gave it a more sleek look that I thought it needed and Mike thought it needed. And if you look at the car, the stance was very, very important on a car like this. Not only did we delete all the side trim and the lower trim to give it that more sleek look, but we wanted to bring it to the ground. And on top of that, we had to have a really, really good sound because what good is it to have all this power and all this look if it doesn't sound right? So Magnaflow exhaust hooked us up once again, got a great sounding exhaust system to go with this classy, super looking car. So Richard can really enjoy himself roaring down the highway. And you know, since he does roar down the highway and he never really puts gas in his own car, I think I might show him where the gas goes in this car because see, he's really smart about a lot of things, but some things escape him. And where this was located was one of those things when we were building the car. Where's the gas go? Well, Richard, it's right here. So I'm sure I'll be filling it up for you, but maybe I'll get to drive the car. Maybe Chris will let me drive the car, and if he will, everything's good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Galaxy as much as we did. And speaking of that, if Richard's not looking, I'm gonna take this thing for a drive. <laughs> uh, he's still in his office. Nothing to see here. Who can't get the hood over? <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> can I ask you a question? Ha 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 ha. Oh man, some days. It's kind of like a daycare center most days. Who's throwing what toy? Who I have to get on to? Who has to be put in the corner? That's pretty much a day of gas money. Hey, hey, you gotta sign off, Jason. What do you. Sign off? No, what do you want? And I'm signing off. Acres by acres. <laughs> Woo! Just another day in the craziness of Gas Monkey Garage. Thanks again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode with the uh, 62 Galaxy. And I don't know what you want to say. <laughs>